mom is from Ghana. I was born in Liberia and I live in England. So my, my parents were missionaries to, uh, my dad was a missionary to Ghana and to Liberia, that's where I was born, and now he's been a missionary to England since 2001. And my father is a family geweest in Ghana and Liberia, and uh, he, he uh, I'm sorry, Glasgow? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, been a missionary to Ghana, Liberia, and now England. Okay, and he lives in England now, since 2001, two, two, Yeah, 2001. Okay. Um, forgive me, this is my first time working at this I've never done this before. <laughs> So um, uh, I, I want to share with you uh, something about how you connect with the time when what God's doing in your generation. Someone said, you know, if you want to do, if you want to do the best for your life in God, find what God's doing in your generation and throw yourself into it. As you the best will do what you can do with your life, you find them out what God's doing in your generation and throw yourself helemaal in. And I've made up my mind a long time ago that I don't want to waste my life. <laughs> I don't want to waste my life on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, all the video games and all the movies. Come on. See, I don't itch to preach, I itch to pray. Because when I preach, I can move men and women, but when I pray, I can move angels and demons. Yeah. <laughs> And I want to wake up in the morning. And I want to wake up in the morning. And hell goes, oh no, he's woken up. <laughs> because I am born to bring fear to the camp of the enemy. Okay. Come on. So this has been burning in my heart all these years. You know, my parents came over to, the, uh, to England. And it brought all years in my heart. And my ouders came to England. 2007. In 2007. I found myself in a youth gathering called The Ramp. Yeah. You heard of the ramp? Yeah. Have you the ramp yeah. The Lord radically turned my life around. And the Lord radically turned my life around. I like to say, you don't know you're asleep until you wake up. <laughs> Come on. And many times, God will place you around people that are awake for Him to show you how asleep you are. And soms het mensen mensen voor je die voor zo heel erg wakker zijn zodat je weet dat je slaapt. And I had an awakening. And I had an 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 opwaken. I thought I was on fire for God. And I thought that I in pure flame was for God. And I actually was. But God has called me to a new dimension of burning. And God is going to call some of you today to a new dimension of burning. I had a radical encounter with God at the ramp. From that I went to the call. The call in Nashville. In Nashville. 7707. It was 777. Over 70,000 people gathering in the state area in Nashville to fast and pray for 12 hours. The America will turn back to God. So I'm in that state, I'm worshiping, praying along. And the Lord says to me, James, you're going to mobilize like this for prayer in England. Come on! Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, wow! I'm shocked. Because I was, before God spoke to me, I was thinking, why don't we see people gather like this in England? Come on, James. Not for a nice worship time, where we feel good. Mm -hmm. But where we're changing things in the heavenlies of the nations. With yeah. 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 So I was, I was saying this, and God spoke that word to me. I, I had no way of making it happen. And I had no way to make it happen. All I knew was to go home and pray. And I, and I, and I remember going into my bedroom. And I weet dat we aan de praying for hours and hours because I just finished university. I didn't have a job at the time. And I'll spend 12 to 17 hours a day on my face, just praying in tongues, going after God. Crying out to God for revival in Manchester. It was like I became a praying machine. It was, uh, there was a grace for intercession I'd never known before in my life. Wow. And I was going after God. And in those times, I believe God birthed something that even now I'm still walking in a lot of it. I don't realize. 
En dat kan natuurlijk niet geboren doen worden waar ik nog steeds in wandel. Alleen had ik me dat toen niet gerealiseerd. So I started all these prayer meetings. My time is up. <laughs> Keep going, bro. Don't worry about it. I started all these prayer meetings. Ik zat in de gebedsbijeenkomsten. And I got connected to the ramp, so I kept going to the ramp every, like twice a year. I went to the summer ramp and winter ramp. Oh, I'm sorry. Ik werd verbonden met de ramp en ik ging naar de winter twee keer per jaar naartoe. One of the times I was at the ramp. En ook een keer was ik daar bij de One of the leaders there at the time called Damon Thompson. En ook de leider daar die heette Damon Thompson. He just called me out of the crowd. En hij riep me uit het publiek. And he says you're called to start a prayer revolution in England. Come on. So he said, "You're going to start a revolution revolution." And he said, "That revolution is going to impact the whole of Europe." And the revolution is going to impact the whole of Europe. He says, "You're a man on fire." And he says, "You're a man on fire." And he says, "Fire comes to you, and fire comes through you." And he says, "Fire comes to you, and fire comes through you." And then the next thing he said was, "I release the mantle of Lou Engel onto your life for Europe." And he said, "You're the mantle of Lou Engel on your life." I am on the floor shaking like a fish. And I lay on the floor and I start to laugh like a fish. My my my. I had no connection with Lord. This is 2008. And it was in 2008 when I had no single connection with Lord. But I remember, obviously, I heard about Lord, so I connected with the message of the Nazarite. And oh, and I had from him heard, so I became connected with the message of the Nazarite. And you know, sometimes you hear something and you just know this is you. And yeah. And you just know this is me. I found my tribe. <laughs> I am born to be a Nazarite. I found every message I could find of Lou Engel online. <laughs> I listened and listened and listened. And I repreached the messages. And I became the message. Amen. So I wasn't just speaking the message, I was the message. Ik sprak niet alleen de boodschap, ik was de So when I spoke, people were shaking and turning their hearts to the message of the Nazarite. En terwijl ik sprak, werden we begonnen mensen te schudden en werden ze bekeerd tot de And I started a brand new movement, long story. En ik begon een gebedsbeweging. Come on. Called prayer storm. En dat heet sorry. Called prayer storm. En een gebedsverhaal. So how it started was this quickly. En hoe het begon was dit heel snel. Keep going. I had all these prayer groups I started, encouraging my friends to pray regularly for the city. En ik begon allemaal gebedsgroepen van vrienden en ik bemoedigde ze om te bidden voor de steden. En dan one day I just felt God put in my heart. In fact, God didn't say to me in an audible voice. I just felt in my heart. En God sprak tot me niet met een hoorbare stem, maar voelde het in mijn hart. To gather these groups together to pray for the city. En om al deze groepen bij elkaar te brengen voor de stad te bidden. So I was thinking, Lord, what do we call these meetings? En ik dacht aan mezelf, hoe noemen we deze bijeenkomsten? And the Lord spoke to me clearly. I remember where I was stood. He said, call it prayer storm. En, uh, en uh, ik weet nog waar ik stond toen de heer tegen me zei, noem het gebed storm. Wow, what a name. Ik zei, wat een naam. Wow. That captures who I am. En want dat bevat helemaal wie ik ben. It's not a quiet little prayer meeting. Het is niet gewoon een kleine stille gebed. It's a storm in the heavens. Het is een storm in de hemel. Release them fresh from the nations. En we hebben vetten voor de natie. Oh my god, I love this name. En heer, ik hou van deze naam. So we started this prayer storm gathering. Toen begonnen deze gebedsbijeenkomsten, deze gebedsstormen. En dan fast forward to last year 2013. En dan gaan we door tot het laatste jaar 2013. I found myself in America again. Toen vond ik mezelf weer terug in Amerika. But this time around with a guy called Rick Pino, he's gonna be here. Maar yeah. dit keer met een man die Rick Pino is, die komt hier. And I connected with Lou Engel. En ik verbond ook mijn ogen met Lou Engel. It was supernatural, but I'm going to the details. Het was in bovennatuurlijk iets, ik zal niet in de details gaan. But I found out. Maar ik heb ontdekt. That before the call uh, in DC. Yeah. Voor de, voor de, de call in DC kwam, When there was 400,000 people who gathered. Waar 400.000 mensen zich verzamelden. Lou and, and his team. And Lou and his team. For three years. Waren drie jaar lang. Had a series of prayer meetings. Hadden een reeks gebedsbijeenkomsten. To pray for stadiums to be filled. Dat ze baden om stadions. And guess what they called those meetings? Die gevul, gevuld zouden worden. Prayer storm. Oh. I don't have a clue. His meetings are called prayer storm. En ik had geen idee dat ze dat een wetstorm noemden. I'm in Manchester, God gives me the name Brightstorm. Terwijl ik in Manchester, oh, Engeland was, had God gezegd. We staan mobilizing the youth and the church to fast and pray. En de, 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 de jeugd op om te bidden en te vasten. I find myself in a timeline. En ik vond mezelf in een tijdslijn. <laughs> of revival. Van opwekking. Luke preach earlier on today. En uh, Luke spreekt daar over vandaag. He says the book of his life. En hij zei, het boek van zijn leven is revival. Is opwekking. I believe the book of my life yeah. is revival. Opwekking wordt. And I'm here to say to you. I'm here to say to you. En ik ben hier om tegen je te zeggen. Don't just come here and watch what's happening. Kom niet gewoon hier om te kijken. Connect with the message. Maar verbind je met de boodschap. And live it. And live it out. Oh, you cannot deceive the spirit realm. 
En je kan de, 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 de hele uh-huh. geesten niet bedriegen. The authority behind the words you speak in prayer. En de autoriteit achter de woorden die je uitspreekt in gebed. Is based on the life you live behind the scenes. Is gebaseerd op het leven dat je achter de schermen voert. So when I come here. Dus als ik hier kom. And I say, Lord, release your presence. En ik zeg, Heer, dan zet u aanwezigheid vrij. I'm asking God. Dan vraag ik God. To show up publicly. Om publiekelijk te laten zien. For me. Aan mij. Because I show up privately for Him. Omdat ik in het in het in de stilte bij Hem kom. And many of us. En ik misschien heb ik gebruikt. Want a public breakout. Ik wil een publiekelijke doorbraak. But we don't want to go deep in the private place. Maar als we niet toelaten in onze stille stille tijd. We have to live this message. We moeten deze boodschap leven. And I'm here to say to you, you are marked to be a Nazarite. En ik zeg tegen je, je bent bedoeld om een Nazarite. Whether you know it or not. En hoe weet je het of niet? This is what's going to change this nation. Dit is wat dit land gaat veranderen. Not great preachers and teachers. Niet grote sprekers. But Christians who live this. Maar Christen die dit leven. And God will anoint you. En God gaat je zo. And you'll be the voice of a revolution in this nation. In dit land. No one may know your name right now. En niemand zal je naam misschien kennen op dit moment. But heaven knows your name. Maar de hemel kent jouw naam. And hell trembles when you wake up in the morning. En de hel beeft. Because you live this message and it's fire in your bones. And right now it's fire in my bones. And I want to just see a breakthrough of God on this land. En ik wil God zien doorbreken in dit land. So I know I'm marked for revival. En ik weet dat ik gemarkeerd ben voor opwekking. Ik ben niet alleen maar rijden. I want to pray for every. If you want to, actually, I don't know. I want to pray for people, especially the youth under 30. En ik wil speciaal bidden voor de mensen onder de 30. I'm not gonna. Don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna pray for the adults as well. But I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to pray for the youth. The reason is, you know, many young people. De reden hiervoor is dat ik voor mensen onder de 30 bid, deze. Are wasting their lives. Sommigen gaan verspillen hun leven. And if you find that at 13. En als je dat ontdekt als je 13 bent. You're called to be a Nazarite. Dat je beroepen bent om een Nazarite te zijn. And you're time with boyfriends and girlfriends. Dan ga je geen tijd verspillen met vrienden. And video games and YouTube. En video spelletjes en YouTube. En Twitter. You'll be focused. Je zult gefocust zijn. And your life at 15. En dan als je 15 bent. Will have a great impact. Zul je geweldige invloed hebben. And you won't have to wait till you're 15. Amen. So I want to pray for those of under 30. Dus ik wil bidden voor iedereen onder de 30. Je mag gaan staan als je onder de 30 bent. God in your heart. Roep het uit naar God in je hart. He's going to mark you. Hij gaat je markeren. He responds to prayer. En hij antwoordt op gebeden. Heartfelt prayer. Een diepe gebeden. And adults, I want you to stretch your hands towards everyone that's standing right now. En de anderen, ik wil graag dat je je handen uitstrekt naar degenen die staan. And we're going to pray over them. En we gaan voor ze bidden. Father in the name of Jesus. Father in the name of Jesus. You see these hearts. You see these hearts. There are arrows in your hands. There are fires in your hands. We declare. And we declare. Over them. Over them. That there will be a voice. That there will be a voice. There will be voices. There will be voices. For you. For you. In this nation. In this land. We break up of them. We break up of them. Distractions. Afleidingen. En we verspillen. Lies of the enemy. Huh? Video of him. We declare. Dat ze verbloeden. Dat ze verbloeden. Dat ze zullen branden voor God. Dat ze in vuur en vlam zullen branden. All the days of their lives. Voor de rest van hun leven. We declare. Comfortable Christianity. Dat het comfortabel is. Will not be their portion. Niet hun deel zal zijn. They'll stand in a fiery place. Ze zullen op een vurige plek staan. And they'll be equipped for war. En ze zullen toegerust worden voor de strijd. Ik declare. Wij verklaren. Today, dat vandaag. They're marked. Dat ze gemarkeerd zijn. They're marked. Ze zijn gemarkeerd. With holy fire. Met heilig vuur. They will never be comfortable. En ze zullen nooit in een nice zijn. With just a nice little church service. Dat is een gezellige kerkdienst. They will never, they will never be comfortable. En ze zullen nooit op hun plek zijn. Just having a nice time at church. Om gewoon een gezellige tijd in de kerk. But they will burn. Maar ze zullen branden. For revival. For opwekking. For revival. For opwekking. Onze ne- they will not give up. They will not give up. We mark them right now. We mark them right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
books to be written about this moment we're living in. Er zullen boeken geschreven over worden over het moment waar we nu leven. Want wij realiseren ons niet hoe belangrijk dit moment is. The young people have stood up. De jonge mensen die zijn gaan staan. Now the older people are standing up. Nu gaan de oudere mensen staan. Two generations, so to speak. En dat zijn twee generaties. Connection of the generations for they are part of God's spirit. En de verbondenheid tussen de twee generaties zorgt ervoor dat Gods geest uitgestort wordt. En Joel 2 vers 8. Old men dream dreams. De ouderen zullen dromen dromen. Young men see visions. De jongeren zullen gezichten zien. Sons and daughters prophesy. En de zonen en dochters zullen profeteren. En daar is een verbindenis. So right now, if you want to respond, then I want you to just raise your hand to the Lord and pray over you. Beantwoord de stem van je hand omhoog. Father in the name of Jesus. Father in the name of Jesus. We pray over these ones responding right now. Bidden we voor degene die hier op antwoord geven. I ask that you make them fathers and mothers. En ik bid dat u ze vaders en moeders zult maken. To the next generation. Voor de volgende generatie. And they will be an example. En dat ze een voorbeeld zullen zijn. They will live the life. Dat ze een leven leven. They will be Nazarites. Dat ze Nazarites zijn. And they will give birth to Nazarites. Dat ze geboorte zullen geven. They will be consecrated unto you. Focus. Focus. Not distracted. Not We pray a holy fire. Rest upon them. And they will give themselves to prayer. When no one is looking. They will give themselves to fasting. When no one is looking. We release fire. Fire. A burning. Desire. For God, Lord, mark them today. Make them revivalists for you. In the name of Jesus. Everyone said amen. Amen. Hallelujah.